Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. Today we are going to talk about Slideshow. Lots of websites are using it for making their websites attractive. Shopify provides a default Slideshow in which there is an image, heading, description, and some more options are available. But there are many settings which are not available in default Slideshow, but there are several settings that we want which are not provided like for example, if your client wants different images to be shown for desktop and mobile, it is not possible from here. Or if you want your slideshow banner to be clickable and redirect to a product page or collection page, you can't do that with Shopify's default slideshow. So, there are many such settings that Shopify's default slideshow doesn't provide. For these settings, we have created our own slideshow section. I will show you how you can access all these settings and features that our slideshow section provides. In this video, I will guide you on how you can add and implement our slideshow section and what settings are provided in our slideshow section that Shopify does not provide. Now go to your Shopify store admin. After this, click on the three dots you see and go to edit code. When you go into edit code, now we need to create a new section. So click on the sections folder and create a new section here. You can give any name to your section, but in my case, I am naming it GRT slide. Once the section is created, you will see a small schema template which is already available here. Simply remove it and paste our code here. I am now pasting the code and saving it. The code will be available in the video description link, and you can use it from our website and add it to your store. After doing this, click on the three dots again and go to the Customize Theme option. When you click on the Customize Theme option, you will enter in the Customization area. Once you are in the Customization area, the first thing you need to do is click on the Add Section option. The section you created earlier will appear here. And when you click on it, you will see the section by the name of GRT Different Banner. Once you select the section, you will get the option to manage your slides. As I mentioned earlier, Shopify's default slideshow allows you to add only one image that works for both desktop and mobile but with our section, I've given you the option to add different images for desktop and mobile. For example, if I select an image for desktop and a different one for mobile, and now when you view it on mobile and desktop, different images will appear as per the selection. For example, I am selecting a dog image for desktop and a laptop image for mobile. Now I am saving it. Now you can see for desktop, I have added a dog image, which is showing here now when click on mobile version, then laptop image is showing here. In this way, you can shoot different image banner for desktop and mobile. This is one of the features that Shopify's default slideshow does not provide. Additionally, you can also make the slideshow clickable. For example, I have provided the option to add links below the banner for both desktop and mobile. If you want your desktop or mobile banner to lead to a specific product page or collection page, for example, I am selecting a product for desktop and selecting contact page for mobile. Now save it and preview. Now when I am clicking on this desktop banner, then it redirect to product page. Now by inspecting on phone, and when click on mobile banner, it is redirecting to contact page. This feature is also not provided in default Shopify slideshow. You can put heading, for example, I am putting the heading GRT slideshow. Here you can put description like I am putting summer sale for fashion. You can add button and button link. You can manage description size. You can control heading size like small, medium, and large. You can control desktop content position by selecting the given options. You can control desktop content alignment. You can select colors for heading, description, button text, and button background. By this, you can manage your text colors. Now, talking about the section settings, If you want your slideshow to take up the full screen width, you can set it to full width, or if you prefer a grid layout, you can choose that as well. Like I am selecting grid and full width. 
You can also control whether the arrows or dots for navigation appear or not. For example, if you want to hide the arrows or dots, you can do that from here. For example, you can see changes on my screen. You can control whether you want the text to appear on mobile or not. If you don't want text to show on mobile and just want the banner, you can make the text invisible. But this will only apply to the mobile version. For desktop, the text will still show. Now look at some settings for mobile like, if I off text invisible then text will be shown. You can manage heading font size and description font size for mobile. Sometimes, users prefer to hide certain sections like banners on mobile and display collections first instead. You can do this by hiding the banner section on mobile and making the collection section appear first. If you want to hide section on mobile and show collection on top, then click on hide section on mobile then your collection will be on top. Same as if you want to hide section on desktop and show collection on top, then click on hide section on desktop, then your collection will be on top. These are the features and settings that Shopify's default slideshow does not provide. If you want your slideshow to work like this, where you can show different images on desktop and mobile, or hide them on mobile, you can access our slideshow section. I will add the code for our slideshow section in the video description, so you can get it and implement it in your store. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel.